everyone, today we are talking about mastering video game music. So in the last video you have seen a few tips about mixing the music and now we are going to master the music. As this is orchestral music, we don't want to push the tracks to the limit and make it as loud as possible. That's why we use volume automation instead and just use the limiter to prevent clipping. And um, yeah, let's just start. First thing you see on my screen is the loudness curve. This is very, very helpful for video games, especially on mobile devices. You don't want to have so much dynamics. So, and uh, when you make, when you work with classical instruments, of course, you don't want to press it into a limiter that will not sound naturally. So what you do is you use the loudness curve to help you do a volume automation in here. And you can see we have couple of peaks here and a couple of downs and you can see that I did the volume automation of the track down here that um, is kind of the opposite of what we see in the loudness curve. So when we play it you can see loudness curves getting up, automations getting down. In the end you can add a little limiter to it but before we're doing this we want to make a proper loop of the music which I show you down here. Please don't just cut off the end of your music for the loop, because you will be losing the reverb, and this will not sound natural. Cut off the track after the point where your loop should end, and place it at the beginning of your loop. Let's listen to that. starts with it without any crackles or stuff like this. So this is how you make a proper loop. Now you can see you needed both tracks for this loop. So this is going into a group track and in our group track, which we find here, I have a slight limiter in there. Not to do anything in the sound, but just in case to, just in case that there are any peaks we have this little limiter in here and that should do it for the mastering of the track. And in the end, of course, you want to export your tracks. I have mastered two pieces of music here. When you've rendered your final master, you want to export it properly. I have a naming scheme that I have used for many years now, so I can always find my files. And in Uendo 7, I can save a lot of time because I can easily use a naming scheme in the export function. And because of the new Game Audio Connect, my rendered files can be exported into WISE automatically. And that is again a real time saver. That was our video about mastering the orchestral music for Clash of Kings. Thank you for watching. See you next time.